existing industry report. Certainly, Mr. Chairman. Um, let's talk about uh, some projects first. Project Maroon and Project Royal, those are uh, an in-progress project and a new project, respectively, that we've been working for the last several months. No significant changes there. Although in Royal, we have provided some additional information to the Georgia Department of Economic Development project manager as she's working with us to develop that project. On our existing industry report, uh, you can see that we did six existing industry visits in May and June. And as you know, we're always looking for identification of opportunities to help our existing businesses grow and expand, see if they've got any issues we can identify for resolution. And uh, I'm happy to tell you in a couple of those, we've got some promising opportunities for expansion that we're beginning to work now. Uh, so those, those visits continue to, to be very successful and pay good dividends for our community and existing industry. We have some existing uh, projects to update you on. Uh, I know you're familiar with Express Scripts. That's our second iteration of training that we're working here in our partnership with the Georgia Department of Labor. Uh, we have begun the second series of hiring and training. Uh, the first cohort is uh, in training now. They're looking to uh, hire and train an additional 175 customer service representatives between now and the end of December. So that's uh, working very, very well. Project Coal, that's our food production processing uh, project that we've been working for several months. We worked through our due diligence on one potential property, determined that that property did not fit our prospect's needs. We are now looking at a second opportunity for an expansion of an existing building, doing preliminary engineering services there, and that looks promising. Uh, that would provide about an additional 70,000 square foot of coal storage space. Uh, project Treadway is our logistics distribution service and support project. Uh, Mr. Guffman will provide us a little information on that in the attorney's report, but I'm happy to tell you that we've moved forward with the execution of agreements uh, there, both a land sale purchase agreement and an economic development agreement, um, and, and that we would anticipate beginning some construction by the 1st of August in one of our grad certified districts. And no substantive changes in the agreement? No, sir. None. It is that, and, and Mr. Guffin will expound on that a little bit. Uh, Project Loaf, uh, we've discussed Project Loaf for the last couple of months. Uh, it is logistics distribution also uh, in, in one of our older established business parts. We've gone through uh, some preliminary engineering, the first step process with the city of Valdosta. And uh, I spoke with the uh, prospect developer uh, this morning, and, and they're ready for land sale purchase agreements and economic development agreements. Mr. Guffin and I are working on those, and we would anticipate executing those next week. Uh, and you can see what we're anticipating there in terms of job retention, uh, job expansion, um, and capital investment. Project White Cadillac, we've been working that project for several months. Uh, we had a very successful visit uh, to Atlanta, uh, to the corporation the leadership team. Uh, we had an opportunity to put uh, in front of them some construction proposals, an economic development incentive proposal. It was very well received. They have since come back to the developer and asked for some additional information on construction, and we're developing that and providing that for them. So, uh, so that's in progress and, and on schedule. And Project Patient, which is uh, our customer patient service center project that we've been working for the past six or seven months, uh, it is on schedule. Um, agreements have been signed uh, with the owner and the developer for renovations and expansion of an existing property. And uh, we're expecting uh, a tentative occupancy date in probably mid-September of this year. And, and then to begin operations there. Uh, so those projects are moving along nicely. Um, I would want to mention a few things about our community business and industry partnership. Uh, Megan and I are working on the next uh, opportunity, which is a global agribusiness opportunity symposium that's going to be uh, in Tifton on Wednesday, October the 8th, sponsored by the Georgia Department of Economic Development. And it gives us a great opportunity to bring our agribusiness companies, including 
manufacturing, machinery, commodity, value-added food, and logistics distribution. So we'll, we'll be looking to advertise that, take some folks up to that event, which we think will have some good benefit. Um, you can see the uh, industrial park acreage update. Uh, I would be expecting to update that very soon as we consume some of that acreage on some of these projects that we've talked about. So I'm looking forward to being able to update that. Well, let me make a comment that I really appreciate how you've gone through the maps of the industrial parks and actually made conceptual drawings of, of what the different parcels would look like. And, and I know on one of them that you, you made a large conception yeah. that, that, that would just change completely. I, I think it's wonderful, wonderful what you can do with computers these days. But to have the visual in here where we can look at it, I, I like that a lot. Thank you. Okay. Well, that was, a, that was a good effort, and I think it's something that we'll get good benefit from as we market our farm. And then, uh, with your permission, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll give a building committee update. Please do. Uh, and it, it will be brief. Uh, this is where we are, and we've been anticipating, anticipating being here for some period of time. Uh, it is a, uh, it's a gorgeous facility. This is where we have been. This is our project critical path, and you can see where we've moved along in construction, renovation, and landscape, and also the furniture, fixtures, and equipment portion of our critical path. And I'm happy to tell you that we stayed on our critical path. We've just had fabulous support from our general contractor and all of the subcontractors that participated in the project. Uh, the next events on our project critical path, we're in one now, which is our first board meeting here in our new facility. Um, and we will have one tomorrow, our ribbon cutting ceremony, which will be uh, at beginning at 11 uh, here. Um, and finally, just an update on where we are in terms of the budget. You can see what the uh, the budget authority was for the project. You can see our current expenditures to date, and to date we're under budget, about $1,107, and we anticipate uh, project completion on budget. Thank you very much. Before we move on, I think staff should be commended on completing this project within the time period and for being within the budget. You should be commended for timely handling this and professional handling. We're all proud of you. Thank you. All right, the, uh, the next order 